Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you what stick fonts are all about and how to use them in Bluff Titler. Let's start with the basics. When you want to make a handwritten text animation, you could try animating the writer prop. This makes the letters appear one by one. A better way is to attach a sketch layer to the text layer. Make sure the text layer is the active layer. Click on the Add Sketch Layer button. Answer Yes in the dialog. Now you have a sketch layer attached to a text layer. Let's make the text layer invisible by applying the invisible effect. The font is the same, but the letters are now rendered as outlines. The writer prop still works. But now, we also have a writer prop in the Attach Sketch layer. This draws the outline. Let's turn this into a keyframe animation. Let's increase the duration a bit. And play. That looks much better, but still not what we want. The solution is switching to a stick font. Select the text layer. Click on the Change Font button. Version 16.7 introduces the Select Stick Font button. Bluff Titler supports stick fonts in the SVG format. The fonts in this video have been created by Wendell Oskay from Evil Mad Scientist. Download links can be found in the description. Stick fonts are not defined by outlines but by center lines. This resembles the way humans write text and is exactly what we were looking for. Let's try another stick font. Yes, beautiful. The pen size can be adjusted with the pen size prop of the sketch layer. The shape can be adjusted with the first dropdown. The path can be smoothed with the smooth prop. Excellent! Inspect the mesh in wireframe mode by pressing the Tab key in the render window. That's a lot of triangles. This show explains the difference between outlines and center lines. Defining the capital letter I requires four outlines, but only a single center line. Here's a fancy font rendering an N. The center line version is much, much simpler. And here's how this looks when writing a sentence. In contrast to the outline version and also my AI voice, the center line feels very human. Now let's watch a few examples of the stick fonts in action. Play around with bright colors. Have fun with glow. This one uses the gradient effect. When you want to examine the show files, the download links are in the description. Mixing normal fonts with stick fonts works very well. Glowing round sketches can be used to simulate a neon tube. And textures can be used to make it less abstract. The leaves are rendered with a particle layer attached to the text. 
Lastly, I'd like to show you some examples using 3D models from the BixPack template packs. Here's a robotic arm from the robotic arms pack rendering a stick font. Thanks to the stick fonts, we no longer have to prepare EPS files or trace pictures. Changing the text can now be done super fast. A moving head model from the Stage Lights pack also has no problems following a stick font. Changing the font can now be done super fast. That's a nice, charming font. Notice that the glyphs are connected when the font allows it. Normal fonts can also be selected. But this results, as you will now understand, in outlines, still useful but very different from stick fonts. And here's our friend Toby walking the font. To prevent a moonwalk effect, the walk speed of the model has to match the draw speed of the text. Realize that everything is in glorious 3D. Your text can be viewed from any place and from any angle. I think we made Toby jump for joy. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Now download the free demo or update your installed version and have fun using the power of stick fonts.